Okay, in the last lecture, we have discussed about the fixed voltage regulators. So, the drawback of this fixed voltage regulators is the excessive inventory and production cost. To avoid this, we will use adjustable voltage regulators. There are several advantages of uh, this adjustable uh, voltage regulators compared with uh, the fixed voltage regulators. As you have discussed in the last lecture, the fixed voltage regulators can produce the discrete values of the output voltages uh, such as 5 volts, 6 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 18 volts and 24 volts if you take uh, 7, 8 uh, XX series. So, because of this uh, discrete values of the outputs rather than the continuous fixed output voltages. This uh, fixed voltage regulator is having drawback of excessive inventory and uh, production charges. Whereas, if I take this adjustable voltage regulator, this will be having less inventory and production cost. This is one advantage of this adjustable voltage regulator. And the second advantage is this can have the better load and uh, line regulation. So, the load or line regulation is defined as the amount of the output change due to the, the load current variation. Normally, this will be measured in millivolts, and uh, the less value of uh, this output change is desirable. Even if the load current changes, output changes by only a few millivolts, then the system will be having better uh, load or line regulation. So, in case of adjustable voltage regulator, this can have a load regulation of by factor of 10 or even better. load regulation is better by a factor of 10 or more. This is the second advantage of uh, the adjustable voltage regulator and third one is better overload protection. In this sense, uh, over a same temperature range, so this adjustable voltage regulators can provide uh, the larger values of the output current.
adjustable voltage regulators provides greater values of output current over a given temperature range. So, this is possible by uh, fixing the current sink in the uh, ICs. So, most of this uh, voltage regulators will be having a current sink by means of the current sink so this can give the larger output currents otherwise what happens is the ic becomes heated up okay so to avoid that uh, normally we will use uh, current sink and the fourth advantage of uh, adjustable voltage uh, regulators is better thermal breakdown in this sense it can operate over the large temperature ranges so because of this large temperature range if it uh, provides the more current then in order to avoid this uh, thermal breakdown normally this uh, voltage regulators will be fixed with the temperature sensors so whenever the current exceeds a limit thereby if it becomes too heat so if the ic becomes too hot the IC is switched off by using IC is switched off till IC cools down to a safer temperature. So, in this way this variable voltage regulators can have a better thermal breakdown. So, because of these advantages nowadays the variable or adjustable voltage regulators are very common in most of the electronic appliances. So, the example of this adjustable voltage regulator is LM317. this is positive adjustable voltage regulator this can uh, produce the output voltage in the range of 1.2 volts to up to 57 volts you can see the large dynamic range of this uh, ICLM 317 okay. in case of fixed we have the 7 uh, discrete uh, output voltages from 5 volts to maximum of 24 volts whereas here we can have a continuous output uh, voltages in the range of 1.2 volts to 57 volts so if you see the connections of this LM317 this is also three terminal device one is input terminal another is output terminal similar to uh, the fixed voltage regulator in the fixed voltage regulator the third terminal is ground whereas here the third terminal is adjustment terminal here the output is connected to the load see the output voltage V naught 
here the input voltage V in is applied and here we have one variable resistor potentiometer R2 and here we will have one fixed resistor R1. Let this current is IR2, this current is I adjust, this current is IR1. Now here this LM317 is uh, designed to give a reference output voltage of 1.25 volts. This 1.25 volts is impressed across this R1. Impressed across R1. As a result of that, what happens is this IR1 is decided by R1. That is why this R1 is called as current. set resistor or also called as program resistor. By varying this R1 value, IR1 current also can be varied. Okay. So, this I adjust is very very small. This is for LM317, this is of the order of 100 microamps. Now, if you see the analysis of uh, this system, so if I apply the KCL at this node, I adjust and IR1 are entering, IR2 is leaving. So, IR2 is equal to IR1 plus I adjust. And what is V naught? V naught is defined here. Voltage drop across the R1 plus voltage drop across R2. V naught is equal to V R1. If I call this V R1 as the voltage drop across this R1 plus V R2. V R2 is the voltage drop across R2. But V R1 is the voltage across this uh, R1 is 1.25 volts. This is between V out and adjustment pin of LM317 that is between these two points between this point and this point is 1.25. So, what happens to this IR1? V reference divided by R1. So, what is V naught? V R1 is nothing but voltage across this this one is I R1 into V reference plus this voltage is V reference plus I R2 into R2. this current through this one is I R 2, this resistance is R 2. But what is I R 2 from here is I R 1 plus I adjust. Therefore, V naught is equal to V reference plus R 2 into I R 2 is I R 1 plus I adjust. 
what is ir1 v reference by r1 so this is equal to v reference plus r2 into ir1 ir1 is nothing but v reference by r1 plus r2 into i adjust so implies v naught is equal to what is v reference is 1.25 volts if i take this 1.25 volts outside this will be 1 plus r2 by r1 plus r2 times i adjust but this i adjust is very small value so sometimes this drop is less than this one so you can neglect this if you neglect this second term this v not is approximately equal to 1.25 times 1 plus r2 by r1 now we can see that here normally this r1 is fixed at 240 ohms to have better load regulation now by varying this r2 from here we can vary the voltage v not so in the range of this 1.2 volts to 57 volts that is why here we have the potentiometer okay so by varying r1 v not can be r2 because r1 is fixed r2 v not can be varied from 1.2 volts to 57 volts this is about the variable voltage regulator this is the normal circuit so if this lm37 is placed near the power supply capacitors okay then no need of any external capacitors here in case of fixed voltage regulator we have some input capacitance and output capacitance okay here also we require the input and output capacitances if you place this uh, lm37 uh, far away from the power supply capacitors external capacitance are required so the resultant circuit uh, by placing the external capacitance is here you have to connect the input capacitance here you have to connect one capacitor here another output capacitor this is c i input capacitance c out this is another capacitor say c1 normally the order of this one is this is 0.1 microfarads 
this is 10 microfarad and this is uh, 1 microfarad so we know that uh, ci input capacitance is used to bypass input signal and co is used to improve transient response Whereas another C1, this is used to improve ripple rejection. So, this voltage regulator, in addition to providing the constant output voltage, it also rejects the ripples. So, we know that if I take this full wave rectifier. So, this if you apply to the full wave rectifier, we will get waveform like this. This is not pure DC. So, we will pass through the capacitive filter. After that, we will get some ripples. We will not get uh, the perfect uh, DC signal this type of DC signal. So, you will get some ripples because of the charging and discharging of the capacitor. So, in order to reject that uh, ripples, we will use this uh, C1. Okay. So, normally we will be having uh, LM317 is having 80 dB ripple rejection. Sometimes there is a chance of uh, discharging the capacitors uh, through the low current paths into the regulator. To avoid this, uh, we will use some protective diodes. Here one diode is placed. Here another diode is placed. So, these two diodes are used to avoid this discharging of the capacitor through the low current paths. Okay. So, this is possible only if the capacitance values are less than or equal to 25 microfarads or the output voltage V naught is greater than 25 volts. So, in this case only we require the diodes. Otherwise, no need of these diodes. Normally, this will be 1 in 4002. This is about the complete uh, circuit of adjustable voltage regulator. Now, we will discuss on problem of designing this adjustable voltage regulator. output voltage is 
is between say 5 volts to 12 volts output current say 1 amp use LM317 how to design this adjustable voltage regulator as you have discussed there are the expression for the output V0 is 1.25 times 1 plus R2 by R1 R2 R adjust I adjust for this LM317 is 1000 microamps and normally it will take this R1 as 240 ohms for the better load regulation and if I substitute these values let us first take uh, V0 is equal to 5 volts then what will be this expression 5 is equal to 1.25 1 plus R2 by 240 plus 100 microamps means 10 to the power of minus 4 amps if we solve for this one we will get R2 value is approximately equal to take the V naught is equal to 12 volts so 12 is equal to 1.25 1 plus R2 by 240 plus 10 to the power of minus 4 R2 if we solve for this one we will get around 2 by varying from 0.71 kilo ohms to 2.01 kilo ohms we can get the output voltage from 5 volts to 12 volts and this will give the output current of 1 amp so what is the output current so here that you have to use this R2 0.71 to 2.01 means we have to use 3 kilo ohms potentiometer and here we can use the capacitors as you have discussed here this capacitance this capacitance this capacitance but uh, no need of these diodes the reason for this one is output voltage is less than 25 volts and this is greater than and capacitance are less than 25 so no need of protective diodes since output voltage is less than 25 volts and capacitors are less than 25 microfarads implies no protective diodes are required So this is about the adjustable voltage regulators. Okay. So there is another type of uh, regulator called as a switching uh, regulators. As you have discussed in the last lecture that so the fixed voltage or adjustable voltage regulators are called as linear regulators because the power transistor operates in the linear region. Whereas in case of switched uh, voltage regulators the power transistor can be used as a on off switch so because of that the switching regulators are non-linear and there are a lot of advantages of the switching regulators so we will discuss the switching regulators in the next lecture thank you